today, just like I talked about yesterday, just pushing things the other way, compete, defense, neutral zone, D zone coverage, and I thought it was good again today. Um, you know, you start to, you start, the guys start to feel it at this point, they're, they're testing, and two days of testing, and then the pushing the pace, and the, 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 the skating, and the conditioning, and then again for a second day, so um, I thought we hung in there well and did good. Um, and then tomorrow's our first exhibition game, so we'll send a, a group up to Boston. We'll, we'll put that, I'll put that out to the players later today, the group that's going, and uh, we'll have a practice here. Actually, we're going to scrimmage here, so it'll be a scrimmage the remaining players. Uh, we'll scrimmage against each other, and uh, again, just a chance to see everybody in the organization just competing. And uh, some, in, some will be in Boston, and some will be right here. Do you go on the bench for exhibition? I do, all of them. Have these first two days on the ice gone as you expected? Have they gone better than you thought they would be? Uh, would you kind of, I know your assessments have been good. Yeah, I mean, I, here. I, I think the guys are working really hard and they're competing hard, and that, that to me, that's that's how you get that feel that you're ready to play games and win games. And so I think it's been really good. Um, you got to keep that consistency, though. You know, I've got to keep it. They've got to keep it. And I think when you do things in repetition enough, I think they become habit. And so those habits need to stay. What do you what do you feel like you have in a guy like Blake Wheeler? I mean, I know you're new to this group, but he's really one of the very few new guys coming into this core and he's yeah. had the career he's had. Well, yeah. How do you handle a guy who's got that resume? I mean, I never coached him, but I played against him enough, when, especially from Nashville when, when he was in Winnipeg and playoff series and lots of time against him. And I feel like I'm pretty familiar with his game. I think sometimes there's a, there's a learning curve with young players that you haven't coached or you haven't seen in the league and you haven't coached against. With Blake, it's been it's been a lot of him, and uh, it's actually real nice to have him on his side, our side, because he does a lot of things well. I mean, he can he can play power play, he can play in a top six role. He's smart defensively. He's he's really excited to be here, be part of this group. Um, he's been a leader, and so there's lots of things that he brings to the table that you know I'm really excited about. Our team's really excited about having him here. You. Um Talking about familiarity, obviously you're very familiar with Nick Benino. Yep. Um, do you look? Uh, do you? Will you lean on him a little bit early um, to deliver your message because he, he knows you so well, or, or is that? Or do you just look at him as a as a player, somebody you can look at you to contribute in his role? I I think Nick brings a lot to the table too for different reasons. I think that. I think some players are real thinkers of the game. They're really smart, intelligent hockey players, and I would put him in that category as somebody who thinks all the time. And that's why he's out there in crucial situations and playoffs and when it comes time to win a cup and win a championship. And that's been his MO. He's somebody that coaches I have and other coaches have relied on um, to do that job because he thinks the game. He's a good penalty killer. He's a good face-off man. He's detailed with systems and watching them. And, um, it's, it, I think there's an advantage where I've worked with Nick before, same with Gustafson, like he's been kind of in the system with me before, and so they know it, and I do think that it helps with messaging inside the room. Uh, but we're all going through this together. There was, there was lots of holes in the neutral zone, but the good thing is we taped it, we have it, and now we can go back and we can show the things that we were reluctant to do or not confident to do where we need to do it. And so, um, but those guys, I think, maybe that you're talking about, Larry, they have a little bit of a leg up because they have more familiarity, more reps, years of reps in some cases with the system. You huh? talked about <coughs> opportunity, you know, is there for guys, and obviously two guys in particular, Paco and Lafreniere, are getting more opportunity, maybe more power play time. Is is a big part of the growth of this team, those, not, not to narrow it down so easily, but those two guys seizing that opportunity and really driving some of that? That would be, that's the plan for them to seize that opportunity and to drive it. We need everybody. This is a this is a team sport, right? We need everybody playing great. And I said that in day one, like, sh show your greatness every day. And so these these players that you're talking about, the, the three younger forwards that you're talking about, I think they're in a position now where they're not 18, they're not the first year in the league, they're not 19, they're not the second or first year in the league. 
they're in a position where they came off three of their best years to take that confidence and with a little bit of opportunity try to push that and try to push higher in the it, with regard to everything you mentioned power play time but higher in the lineup higher in minutes <coughs> higher in defensive responsibility counted on more I think they're in a position to do that right now in their careers where they're at sometimes that's a lot to ask for an 18 year old not always but sometimes I think they're in a perfect spot to do that. How much focus do you put on face-offs? A lot. Yeah, so it's something that we're going to, the staff was, I mean, when I was thinking about the staff, I wanted a, a staff that was diverse. I feel like we've hired one of the, you know, in his day, one of the top centermen out there, a defensive-minded guy that was played the game with a bit of a snarl and was really good in face-off show. And so there'll be, there'll be instruction, like everything else, Power play, penalty kill, five on five, four on four. There'll be instruction with face-offs. There'll be teaching and working on it. It'll, it'll get some attention.